I'm going on a road trip to Invermere. The reason I want to take our Model Y is that I want to check on our heat pump and uh, some other parts that have been replaced a couple times now. So the heat pump's been replaced once, the super manifold has been replaced twice, and I want to see that we're not having uh, power loss issues, which have happened on multiple occasions after supercharging. So when we get to Invermere, I'm going to supercharge and I'm going to stay the night in the Model Y for fun and just see how well it performs and see if this problem is completely fixed or not. So let's get going. One stop to make at the co-op to drop off a prescription for my wife and then we're on our way to Invermere with it looks like 30% at the destination so I will only charge when I get to the supercharger in Invermere. So starting off from the co-op downtown, uh, it's saying I'm actually going to arrive with 32%. Tesla supercharger in Invermere, a lot more than 147 kilometers. So that's about 271 kilometers and it's saying we'll arrive with 33%. And it's basically giving me no additional range tips. We'll arrive there with 33%. I'm guessing high 20s. It's a little chilly out today. And of course we will have the temperature set to something comfortable. And medium is probably fine. Sometimes I drive with a heated seat on one. More for my back than being cold. I just caught something. There is actually a bug here because it says my destination I'll arrive with 99.7%. That's a little bit optimistic. Look at those views. So even though it's a really nice day, the skies are clear, there's a lot of wind. And the wind is reducing our range. And this is fairly new with this energy graph, but it's actually showing us that. And it looks like we're going to arrive with a little less power than the projected, a little less battery. But look at those skies. Just, the mountains are just beautiful today. This is always one of my most favorite views on this trip. So the battery projection is telling me I'm going to arrive with under 22%, and that is because there's been quite a bit of wind. But we are heading south shortly, so we shouldn't have to deal with that. It'll actually be a tailwind instead of a headwind. So we'll see if we can do it. I think we can get there with 25%, but we'll see. Well, we made it with uh, just under 23%. Our regular daily charge charges are 80, but I'm gonna charge to 90% and then I'm gonna drive up and down the highway and make sure we're not having power loss issues. And then I'm gonna spend the night in the Model Y. So the big thing that I wanna test is that the heat pump isn't going to fail because it did fail while it was in service and the super manifold has actually broken down a couple times and I want to make sure that it's going to be stable after a charging session uh, at a DC fast charger and also that it works like any other Tesla should because if we're going to keep this and, and continue to do road trips and things like that uh, it has to be as good as any other Tesla would be. Okay, so we're almost at 90%. I am going to drive and see if I keep getting this power loss issue or to see if it's gone away. And then I'm gonna sleep in the Model Y tonight. So, for the first time actually. 
it happened again. This problem is not fixed. I'm getting speed limited to 113 kilometers an hour, power limited, okay to drive, schedule service, and the power reduced issue. This is the same issue we were having before. They've replaced the super manifold, the heat pump. Now they have to figure something else out. This is very frustrating. Okay, so that wasn't the greatest thing, but at least I can say that Tesla has already booked the appointment uh, for about 10 days from now, and hopefully they can fix this problem once and for all. I am getting very tired of uh, having the heat pump break and uh, all these problems with the heating and power loss, etc. after supercharging uh, but uh, so test the, the heat pump the new heat pump overnight uh, in a garage and it's not perfect it's not heated and I have a fairly comfy uh, warm uh, spot set up here with my uh, pillow and uh, a four inch foam it should be very comfortable and uh, I am looking forward to trying this for the first time as well. So we'll see you tomorrow. I'll see if I stay warm all night. So the heat pump did not fail. It worked all night. The car was comfortably warm. And it, I think it even heated the garage up from 4 degrees to 10 degrees pretty cool I can share the, the stats from uh, sleeping in the car uh, about 1% of battery per hour I didn't plug it in overnight I just wanted to see how much battery it would use and um, hopefully I can get this situation resolved with our car and be uh, able to do some road trips uh, this summer uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already Keep sharing the data. It's electrifying.